Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Are you ready? Let's call for that daily bread today. Are you ready? Are you ready to receive a miracle? Praise God. All right, let's go. Say, Father, I demand today my daily bread. I receive today's portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Hey, believe Jesus. If Jesus said, ask God for your daily bread, then you better ask him. No win that you've got daily bread to receive. That's my attitude. Praise God. That's why you should never be broke any day of your life. You shouldn't. You should. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. Praise God. Let's, let's pray for today's broadcast. Lord, we honor you. Thank you, Spirit of God. You are releasing your truth to us. And our hearts are open to receive every one of in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now we are still talking about the count. We are talking about count it all joy or count it a joyful thing. Praise God. Why should I count it all joy when I'm facing challenges, when I'm going through diverse tests? Now, let's go back to something. Let me show you something here. Yes, I was explaining patience to you. James, James 1 and verse 3. Well, let's start from verse 2. Let's just take the whole text again. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith, that the trying of your faith, the trying of your faith, he says that temptation is to try your faith. We spoke about this on Monday and Tuesday. Why is your faith being tried? Substance. Remember what faith is. Substance. The substance of your hope is being tried. So, I believe I'm going to get that job. What is the substance of that belief? What is the substance of that hope? Okay, God said to me that he has given me that job in that organization. On the 5th of June, 2019, God said to me that in two years' time, he will give me a job in that place. And this is two years' time. Praise God. So... Now there's an opening in that place. So I've applied for that opening. I know I'm going to get it. Why, why do you think? Why are you so sure you'll get it? Because God spoke to me two years ago concerning this. Okay. And so now, the next thing they come out and say, hey, um, we'll shut down the employment, whatever. So we're not, we're not taking anybody again. All right. Whoa. What hits you first? didn't God say to me? Did I hear God very well? You see, that substance that you are holding on to, that you need to understand this. When you say, my faith is being tried. So, some people say, my faith is being tried. They don't even have any faith. So, when there is no faith in the first place, there's nothing that is being tried. Understand, when you're going through challenge, not every challenge you go through, that is, your, that is a trial of your faith. It's not. Now, there is the general trial of our faith, which is the, the normal faith of believing in Jesus Christ. The next thing, Jesus went into that wilderness and Satan shows up and said, if you are the son of God, why are you hungry now? Why are you hungry? Son of God, you're hungry. Because Jesus was hungry. You see, a bona fide temptation is one that actually comes in your area of need. That's the truth. You, you can't be a billionaire and sit down and come and tempt you to steal a hundred thousand naira. I mean, something must be deeply wrong with your character for Satan to tempt you like that. Because that's no temptation. You don't need it. But when you are really hungry, you've not seen a dime for like two months. 
And then you now see a hundred thousand, someone kept carelessly, and you look around, nobody seems to be there. You'll be tempted to think that, hey, it may be God that's just keeping this money here for you. Why don't you take it and keep quiet? You see, the temptation part is not, can God keep money like that for you? Yes. But you see, the temptation part is the part of, take it, don't tell anybody. And then you now look around and you now take it say, maybe it's a miracle money that God just kept it for me. So why shouldn't you tell anybody? Because the fear of some of us now say that, oh, yes, I'm looking for my money. See, now you just know that that was not God's provision. If someone comes to look for the money, it's not God's provision. And, but you see how that temptation works. Now that's a bona fide temptation. You needed that money. And now Satan is tempting. So the same thing he did to Jesus. If you are the son of God, why are you hungry? Hmm. Why am I hungry? Command these stones to be made bread. Prove you are a son of God. Hmm. Remember, the word of God has come to Jesus. You are the son of God. Because now, now you see Jesus and his disciples one time they were going to um what, what city was that they were going to a city the city of samaria also and the, the people just sent a message that look we're not ready to receive jesus you shouldn't come here we don't want trouble and, and the disciples were so vexed and said what kind of nonsense is that you know and they said master what nonsense is that allow us to call down fire and burn this whole city just like elijah did and jesus said no you don't huh why? He said, you don't know what manner of spirits you carry. Hmm? So what manner of spirit did Elijah carry that did it? Is it different from our spirit? You see, and, and, and that's where a lot of times people get it wrong. The anointing is a force. The anointing is also a person. So when we say Christ, the anointed one with his anointing. Now there are people who can use the anointing and yet don't build a relationship with him to the point that he begins to direct the usage of the anointing. That's why also the anointing can be like a, an oil, like, like a rubbing, a smearing. Now when you smear it on something, it has an effect on that thing beyond the person who is smearing that thing. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not everything you do by the anointing that is sanctioned by Christ. Sometimes you are being tempted. And what is God looking for in that temptation? He's looking for patience. That's why God was so pleased with Jesus. You remember one time Jesus said to his disciples, he said, look, if I want to, he was talking to Pilate, Pilate or Peter. He said, if I want to, I can ask my father. He will send me legions of angels. So those things were there. But he said, I won't. Why? Because the word of God, the scriptures must be fulfilled. See, patience was at work perfectly in Jesus. Many times you are faced with challenges. And that word comes to your heart. If you are truly a child of God, why is this thing happening to you? Now, it can come to challenge you to rise to who you are. But then it can also come to prove that you have no patience. The moment you are now trying to do a miracle to prove a point, patience is lacking in you. Patience for what? Patience that what God said is true and that is why I believe it. I believe it because he said it, not because of what I have seen. Praise God. I, I pray for you today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That truly, you will allow patience to begin to walk fully in you. In Jesus' name. Now, we're going, to talk, we're going to talk more on this tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.